we are going to talk about the data model diagrams um, as a solution architect or the enterprise architect of Salesforce you should know how to um, display the crucial uh, data relationships in a diagram so you need to identify custom object versus a standard object in your solution um, Remember that standard objects come with pre-built functionality and a limitation while customer objects have different set of consideration. For example, some licenses have a limit on the number of custom objects that can access. This diagram will help you identify and communicate your data model and the plan use of every object. Identify LDB object stand for large data volume objects. Although identify LDBs require more than the data model, it requires a performing calculation based on the given scenario. Having a well-documented data model can help you identify where things are likely to go wrong and where the data is likely going to grow more rapidly example junction objects which can help you craft mitigation strategies you can calculate the um, uh, scalability uh, this drag diagram also crucial for your sharing and visibility requirements um, so data model um, diagram has a direct impact on your reporting strategy by looking at this diagram you should be able to tell where the data is required for particular report should be coming from you have to put the in this diagram relationship types master detail versus lookup cardinality one to one or many to one and so on object type standard versus custom versus external or by default for each object highlight LDB object large data volume objects logistical data model should be fine for uh, real life scenario projects so uh, look, um, look at this diagram you have in the middle you have a count you have a contact below that it has a uh, lookup relationship it's a nomenclature on the left master detail in the right and the black in lookup the decorate in special uh, indirect in indirect or external lookup public read write public read only private ldb stand for large data volume so in this diagram you have three ldb object large they use big objects large data volume they have massive amount of data uh, payment invoice and invoice item the invoice has a master data relationship invoice line item and uh, invoice has a master data relationship with the account uh, favorite vendor has a master detail relationship with the account um, so you can see here this is a very simple depiction of a um, data modeling or ERD you can uh, entity relationship diagram some people call it both are the same uh, yeah good luck with your projects